Hello, my name is Holly Hireman. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Today I'd like to share with you five simple steps on how to find time to build your side business. Step number one. You can see behind me that I've written out the week ahead and I've just labeled the days here and that I've put the times along the side. Now, of course, a planner works just fine or a calendar or however you like to build out your week is totally fine. Personally, I like to write it down. So for the purpose of this video today, I went ahead and put this on a big post-it so we can do this together. So step number two is to fill in anything that is non-negotiable. These are things that you absolutely must do, like go to work, like exercise, spend time with your spouse, get the kids ready in the morning, uh, food prep, eating, shopping, um, what else goes on this list? Church. Anything that you yourself know that you absolutely must do. And I'm going to fill in these items in a red pen because these are things that they simply cannot change. Okay, so what I've done here is I went ahead and filled in anything that is absolutely non-negotiable in red. So just on a typical work week, this is kind of what my work week tended to look like. Um, starting, I started around 7 a.m. I would get ready for the day and then drive to work. So this is something that was completely non-negotiable. From 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., that was all work time. So absolutely 100% focused on my full-time J-O-B, my job that I had. Um, from that point forward, right about the five o'clock mark was when I would get off work and I would head to the gym and I would work out. This W-O right here stands for workout. Right after that, drive home, roughly 6 p.m. every night, shower, um, and then after that would be dinner, and then from eight o'clock to 10 o'clock roughly would be family time. So to me, when I was building my full-time, or my, my side business while working full-time, um, this is something that was really important that I already had these times locked in to my schedule because I, I had to do them. I knew that there was no wiggle room in here. Now, on the weekends, of course, you have a little bit more flexibility. Um, Saturday, you know, typically I'd work out around 8 o'clock, shower around 9, go shopping for the week, um, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock would be food prep, and then the rest of the day was kind of, you know, free, quote unquote, free for the week. Um, and then Sunday, you know, church from 9 to 11, work out after church, and then shower. So these are the things in my mind that are completely non-negotiable. Now, what I'd like for you to do is turn to your calendar. If you want to go ahead and press pause, you can, but go ahead and turn to your calendar and then really write in what absolutely must you do on a day-to-day -day basis. Your calendar may vary a little bit from day to day. Maybe your Monday is a little bit different from your Wednesday, but in general, I want you to get the general gist of um, what your week looks like and what is absolutely non-negotiable for step two. Okay, so step three is then to go through and fill in everything that you like to do, things that are fun. Um, these are things that aren't necessary, but they're fun to do, like watching television, maybe watching the news in the mornings, uh, playing around on Facebook, going to the movies, going to barbecues with friends, just things that are, that are fun, um, but they, they are filling up your time. Don't worry, I'm not going to tell you that you have to nix all of these things, but I do want you to fill those in because it is really important when you look at your calendar to know how you're spending your time. So we're going to do that next, and I'm going to fill this in in brown so that you can see it a little bit differently. Okay, so now continuing on with step three, this is where you filled in all of the things that you actually enjoy doing. So um, let's say, for instance, 6 a.m., you know, statistics actually show that people check their Facebook page before they even brush their teeth in the morning, before they even get out of bed in the morning. So odds are you're probably doing something online, maybe, you know, sipping a cup of coffee, waking up, and um, just, you know, checking out your phone to see what happened while you were sleeping. So a lot of times um, this, this early morning slot before you get ready and whatnot, 
at least for me, was filled with, um, you know, like looking up on social media or maybe um, playing a playing a game online. Just little things, fun things to kind of kind of wake up and enjoy the morning. Monday through Friday, from six to seven, that was kind of what I did. Um, Saturday and Sunday, however, I liked to sleep in a little bit more because I didn't want to necessarily get up so early on the weekends. So I just went ahead and filled in sleep in these earlier time slots here. And then um, all the way at the bottom, Monday through Friday, typically um, the last couple hours of the day was just spent hanging out on the couch, you know, watching television, just kind of unwinding, mindless, mindless activity. Um, so I went ahead and filled that in in this 10 p.m. slot, just TV, right? Just hanging out, chilling on the couch, watching television. Also on Saturdays, love, I'm a big movie goer, absolutely love to go to the movies, so I filled that out too because I really like to do that. That's something that, um, I don't know, a little fun date, date day to do uh, once a week. So if you haven't done so already, press pause, and I want you to look at your calendar and then fill in all those fun things that you enjoy doing. Maybe you barbecue on the weekends with your family, or um, maybe you have certain activities, hobbies, that you enjoy doing, playing guitar, or whatever, whatever it may be. I want you to fill those things in next. Okay, so step four. This is where it gets really exciting because this is where we really look at the calendar and we find little nuggets of time where you are going to be able to spend focused time on your side business. So some things that we're looking for right here. Breaks at work. We're also looking for, of course, your lunch break. We are looking for drive time or perhaps your workouts. If you like to do, um, you know, the elliptical or treadmill or something where it's not requiring your mind to be working, we're going to look for those pockets of time as well. All right, so let's do this together. This is where it gets really fun. So first of all, you have a typical job, um, you know, you're there for eight hours, and but you do get that 30 to 60 minute lunch break. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this 12 o'clock time and I'm just gonna fill in 30 minutes here, okay? So I'm gonna take this all the way across the board. Oh, and by the way, I'm doing this in green because this is the color of money. And this is what you're building, right? Because you're building your side business. We're gonna take this all the way to Friday. So even if you don't get a standard 60 minute lunch break, you are going to get, um, or I'm just going to fill in that 30 minutes for you, okay? Additionally, you're probably going to get two other 15-minute breaks throughout the day, so I'll just throw one here in the morning here. We'll just take this all the way across. We're going to pretend that this is 15 minutes. This is like a little um, coloring project. <laughs> and then we'll take another break a little bit later on here at the end of this 2 o'clock hour, and we're just going to fill this in all the way across the board. And just remember, this is 15 minutes, this is 30 minutes, here's 15 minutes here. Additionally, I want you to think about how much time you spend driving. So up here, I have you know approximately 30 minutes designated to drive to work, and on average, that's probably about average, people typically drive about 30 minutes to work and 30 minutes on the way home. So we're gonna fill that in as well. We're gonna take this all the way across, 30 minutes. This is beautiful, isn't it? I know, I know, absolutely beautiful. You, you too get to color if you wanna do this like this. Um, and then on the way home too, we get another 30 minutes here. Okay, so your drive time. That's just on your weekdays, all right? Additionally, say I'm not happy with just the two hours that I've blocked out of my Monday through Friday schedule. Say I wanna get a little bit more, but I don't wanna give up all my fun stuff. So okay, you know what? I will go ahead and I'm gonna do this Tuesdays and Thursdays. Instead of going online and doing something fun, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna focus on my business. And then, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, instead of staying up later, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this last hour from 10 to 11 um, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Instead of watching television, I'm going to sacrifice that and I'm going to work on my business there. So right here, you can start to see that you can find little pockets of time within your, within your day. 
And let's say here too, um, let's go ahead and um, look at the weekends. And I don't want to give up my entire weekend, of course, but I know that there is time to be had. For instance, this 12 o'clock to, um, to 2 p.m. slot, I really don't have anything. You know what? Could I dedicate two hours on a Saturday to building my future? Yes, and so can you. You can absolutely dedicate two hours on a Saturday to building your future. And could you potentially wake up a little bit early on Saturday mornings too and put another, another hour in here? Yes, you can, right? Remember, this is all about building what you want. What you want. So if it's, if it's important enough, you're gonna find time. And I'm just, I'm just here to help you find the time to do it. And then of course on Sunday, so right here, we already have you know three hours blocked out for Saturday. So let's see if we can just find a couple hours on Sundays. Perhaps could you, you know, take a couple hours here, three to five on Sundays, just do a little, a little prep and planning. Of course, there are pockets of time. As you can see, we are all very busy. And at first glance, this might look very, uh, very frightening because you're like, oh, you know, once I wrote all that stuff down and I see that I actually really am very busy, Holly, <laughs> I don't want you to be worried. I want you to be confident in that it is absolutely possible if you're organized enough to do the work and figure out where you are willing to give up a little bit of free time in order to build your empire. Step number five, your final step. Now this is really eye-opening and super fun because this is where you get to add up all of that time that you are going to be able to focus on your side business. So let's go ahead and add that up now. Mondays in the evening, we have um, you know an hour, actually Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we have an hour that we're gonna trim off the end of the night in order to focus on the business. Then Tuesday and Thursday morning, now this is just an example, of course, I want you to fill in yours as well, but for the example's sake, Tuesday, Thursday morning, we have an hour that we're trimming off of the mornings. So right there, we're saving ourselves one hour every single day, Monday through Friday. Next, we're gonna calculate drive time. Just in driving to and from the office, because trust me, there are things that you can do with your business that can be done while you're driving. So I want you to count it every single time that you're in the car. I want you to count that as time that you can effectively focus and work on your business. So just in drive time, we have another hour a day that we're gonna be saving. So that is two hours just during the week, every single day that you can focus on your business. Then finally, during the week, we have those two 15 minute breaks and then the one uh, half hour break at work. So we are now up to three hours every day, Monday through Friday, that you could potentially be working on your business. That is 15 hours a week. Are you kidding me? Do you think that you could make some big moves and actually make something happen in 15 hours a week? Absolutely, that's not even counting the weekend yet. So let's do this. And this is a very, look at the schedule on the weekend. I don't know about you, but for me, I like to take things easier on the weekend. I like to hit it hard on Mondays and then just kind of taper off as the week goes. Spend a lot more time with family on the weekend. So I, I try to keep things pretty flexible as you can see here on the example. So we've got 15 hours a week, Monday through Friday. Then what we're gonna do is simply look at Saturday and I'm able to pull another three hours there. So I've got the 7 a.m. slot and then the 12 to two slot, pulling another three hours there and that is 18 hours for the week. And then say, hey, you know what? I just play a little bit and on Sundays I just kick in an extra two hours or so. And we've come up with 20 hours a week that you could be focusing on your business. I'm gonna ask you again, do you think that you can actually make some big moves and make some big things happen if you are focused for 20 hours a week? Yes, absolutely. Now, I don't want you to be afraid. I don't want you to be afraid. You can do this however you want. Could you even do half of that? <laughs> absolutely, it's your business. You can do whatever you want to do, whatever is driving you in your gut. That's what I want you to do. 
I'm here just to show you that it's possible. Because most people say, I don't have the time to start my business. I work full time, I have a family, I have obligations, I have responsibilities. It is possible to, for you to build your side business. I want you to know that. If there's nothing else that you take away from this video today, I want you to realize that things that get scheduled, that go on your calendar, happen. Just like your workouts. If you don't plan to work out and you just kind of leave it up to chance, is it ever gonna get done? No. Anything that's important, goes on your calendar. You must schedule it. Doctor's appointments, dentist appointments. You have to carve out time in order to make it happen. And that's all I'm here to do is help you to make it happen. If you don't schedule the time that you are going to be building your side business, then it's just not going to happen. So everybody says that they don't have time. Everybody's busy. Everyone's busy. What's the difference? The difference is that you are going to be smart about it. You're going to put it on your calendar and you're going to make the time to make your future happen. I hope this video served you well. I want to thank you so much for taking time to watch it and for spending this time with me. It really is a gift and I want to thank you for that. Go ahead and find me on Facebook. I'd love to connect with you there. And most importantly, be on the lookout for the next video and I'll be talking to you soon.